In this video, I've got a really fun little route combo for you guys. Um, gonna be a great little concept today. We're gonna be talking about getting over the top of 30 yard cloud flats. We're also gonna be talking about a route running threshold that a lot of players in Mutt have reached at this point in the year. And so it makes it significantly more effective and excited to show you how to deal with some of the zone coverages in kind of a unique way and also hedge your bet a little bit with kind of just ability to be able to break down every zone in the game and at the same time have some nice little reads against man coverage as well now if you're new to the channel my name is cody today we're gonna be taking a look at the trips tied in formation out of the uh detroit lions offensive playbook you can also find the new england pa patriots playbook this concept will work just as well out of that as well and if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook i would really encourage you to join our patreon for just ten dollars a month you're not only going to get access to the trips tied in ebook you'll also get instant access to all 25 of my man 22 offensive and defensive strategy guides in addition to that you'll get any new ebooks any new updates we release updates pretty much every single week with new material just dropped a major uh, defensive guide into the membership so if you want to check it all out again that'll be linked down in the description but this is a short side trips um, setup and what you want to do is you want to put your best wide receiver whoever your best route runner is in this spot now um, for the Packers they really only have one guy that can do this and that is Devonte Adams I'm gonna take a look here and show you his deep route running Really, the threshold is like over 90. If they have over 90 deep route running, this will be effective. Most of you guys at this point in the year in Ultimate Team probably have receivers that are um, you know, over 90 deep route running. This is a setup I really like because it's got great check downs. It's got great opportunities for you to beat really anything the defense does. But um, it's to play PA shot post out of the trips tied in. And I'm going to show you kind of a fun little setup today with that as well. Now, uh, just to show you real quick here, you're gonna see my flats are on 30, my curl flats are on 10, and my hook curls are on five. And we're gonna show you how to beat this over the top. So, like I said, you wanna have your trips to the short side of the field. So as you can see right here, my trips are to the left. And basically what we're going to do is really simple. We're going to motion the square receiver uh, to the right side of the screen, and we're going to put him on a streak. This is gonna clear out all of the zones. This is one of my favorite routes. Um, in the game now the next thing that we're going to do is you've got a little bit of an option but I really like to just simply hitch the inside slot a lot of double Mabel defenses are gonna struggle to guard this it's got great playmaker potential wherever the user goes and then what I like to do with the running back here is we're going to put him on an out route so you see we're just gonna have a simple high low to the right the running back route will beat man Adams will beat man and then you can playmaker the hitch if you want to um, to get this open against man but real simple here and if you have time in the pocket what you'll see is that this crosser will just run super super deep over the top now right there he got kind of a weird animation um, so I'll show you that a little bit um, I'll show you that again he got bumped and it kind of messed up his his route but again here this is a 30 yard cloud flat from the outside corner I might add um, when the, the cloud flat comes from the outside corner I think it's significantly better now you can, if you want to, you can motion either receiver um, across for your clear out. Um, but I just, I like to motion the outside guy. And again here, you know, just let it kind of go. And what you'll see here, you want to pass it right about there with a pass lead up. And you'll see this thing just absolutely cooks and gets open on the sideline. I'll show it to you again. And then we'll talk about some of the other stuff that you can do with this concept. So again, real simple setup. Um, but what this also does is it, makes it so that if they're running like a cover four drop you're gonna have a nice clear out from this um, this square receiver and then again you're just gonna kind of have to test a little bit with the timing on this but you just want to pass lead it straight up right about there right into that little pocket and as you can see it can get in a nice tender area of the zone defense now the next thing that I want to go over is how uh, good this is against pressure so let's say that you face a sin five version of the three three five wide something essentially like this you're gonna notice that this is actually fairly decent against it and the reason why it is is primarily because of this hitch and also because of this running back out route and because we're blocking a tight end so you're gonna see here that we're gonna pick up any pressure and then we can actually throw this right there at that little point that it crosses that safety and you see we get this nice little aggressive catch um, over the middle of the field so I'll show you that one more time and then we'll talk about a couple other plays that they can do but let's say just for the example here i'm gonna blitz this guy just so that i can drop this guy into a curl flat so you can see kind of a double 
underneath type zone on both sides. And again, this will pretty much pick up the meta blitzes, the majority of blitzes um, that people are running right now. This is, you know, pretty decent little little uh, blitzing concepts. Uh, but anyways, what you'll see here is again, notice that, you know, if they're not defending hard flats on either side, you can throw that running back route quick. You can also playmaker your hitch. Again, I want to really um, emphasize that you have plenty of time in this. And that's what makes this so good. So again, you'll see right here, you know, because of our pass protection, we're going to have time to be able to make a read. And a lot of times the user is going to have to choose. Am I going to go guard the hitch or am I going to go guard the crosser? So you see right here, they chose to guard the hitch. So I'm going to throw that right about there. And you see how good of a route that can be, especially with that nice, strong, clear out route from the right side guy all the way on the outside of the formation. Now, um, how does this how does this formation do against man to man? I actually think that it does fairly well. Or how does this play do against the meta, you know, man to man coverage? This actually does fairly decent, and the reason why is because of the running back out route, and also because of the hitch. Um, the crosser will beat man. They have to use her that, of course. Um, but what you'll see here is this running back out route will do really well against man, and then again your crosser, um, Devonte Adams, totally. I don't know what happened to him right there, but. This crosser will typically beat man to man. I'll show you again. I'm gonna do it out of cover one robber. And this is a really nice motion um, because again, this turns off any matching, not any matching principles, but it turns off the ones that are, I think much more effective against trips tied in. And you'll see here running back gets open and then my crosser, um, I don't know why he's, I guess he's just getting out ran by Brandon Stokes or Eric Stokes, but anyway. Um, you don't have to take the crosser. I'll show you something else you can do. So the other thing that you can do with this is, and this is what's so good about this concept, is you have this, this ability to be able to, if they're double flatting on you like this, or not double flatting, but main coverage with flats, the middle, this playmaker, because of the way the user is this year, is really hard to, hard to use her. So you can kind of playmaker that hitch. You'll see here that if they're shading underneath and that hitch goes vertical, a lot of times it'll beat that man-to-man -man coverage. Another simple thing you can do is just put him on an in route and he'll be fine. Um, you know, there's a lot you can do with this. Let me show you something else with the running back. So um, another route that you can use with the running back is you can actually put him on an in route instead of an out route. So you'll have kind of a curl flat concept almost. This right here is one of my favorite things to do because a lot of times you'll see that will cross and then you can playmaker this and just throw it right about there for an easy seven to ten yards so they have to use the crosser over the top and it's going to open up everything else on the play now again man coverage i think is probably the best way that they can defend this consistently but they have to play like perfect man to man another thing that you can do is let's say that they're running a lot of man to man and they're shading underneath a lot one of my favorite things to do is to put the running back on an option route i'm going to leave this wheel route on the left side and then I've got my still got my clear out route, right? So I can playmaker the running back if they're in zone. And then you'll see here that against uh, shaded underneath man, this wheel route right here is probably one of the best ways to be able to combat that. So when you can kind of use some of these concepts together, it really can uh, be a very effective way to you know just kind of handle some of the best defenses in the game. And again, all the while, you know, and let me show you this last setup here against zone. What's really cool about this last setup with the option route, you don't have to option route the running back. You can curl him too. I'm just saying against zone, he's going to sit. Against man, he's going to go out, right? But what you can do is you'll see, so you're like right here, I can playmaker that running back. And you'll also notice that that option route a lot of times will hold this flat even better. So again, as long as you have 90 route running on that route, it's going to get open over the top of the 30 yards. You want to be on the left hash for this. If you want to learn more about the trips tied in offense and how to literally just destroy people um, in this year's game, I would really encourage you to get the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up and it just, it literally walks you step by step through everything. You get all the eBooks. You can, um, it's not like I said, it's only $10 sign up. So if you want to sign up for it, Head on down to the description of the video and click the link down below. It'll take you right over to the page and you can check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.